that noise. Barbara, what in the world are you doing over there? What do you mean, what am I doing over here? I want to pick with the guys a little bit. Well, that's perfectly, all, pardon me, Bench. <laughs> that's perfectly all right, but you know, <laughs> if you want to pick with them, go ahead, because this is your night to do what you want to do. What I want to do? Anything you want all to do. All right. What a That's not it. That one I don't know why you got me into that. You know how much I like Roy Cuff? I love You it. did that to me. For, I love that. Play something that, you know, the, the guy wanted to boogie he could. You know, like, get oh, down. All right, Some, a little bit more oomph to it. Yeah. Are you ready? You know it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrific. I didn't. I, I knew you had a lot of talent, but I didn't know you had that much. Well, I know you're not going to believe it now after all of that. But did you know that I got my first job in country music by playing steel guitar? Well, would you believe it? I have the man on videotape that uh, gave you your first job. Joe Mathis. That's right. Here he is. When I met Barbara, she was 11 years old. I was in Chicago at the time playing at a musical instrument trade fair, and Barbara was there playing the steel guitar. And I couldn't believe it. She was that good. I was planning a show with Tex Ritter in Las Vegas, and I decided right then and there she had to come and play in Vegas in my show. That started her out on the long string of Las Vegas appearances from there on to our TV show, and she's still one of Las Vegas' most popular entertainers and singers. Joe Mathis, I love him. Thank you so much for that.